almost done with your basic training for WizIQ. We are now on lesson 232, the delete and the smiley button, or emoticon. Con, I, I don't know. Okay. So, the delete. This one is nice when you have to be very specific about some of the pieces you want to get rid of, because you don't want to use the eraser key. So if you can grab these, and you grab them almost anywhere, you can clean them clean some things up, but it's very easy to grab the wrong ones. Whoops, didn't mean to grab that one. I have the back key. As you remember, I like to use the um, selection key for a lot of that to remove things, but because then I can move them first. So if I used the select tool and grabbed an individual item, then I can scroll around till it changes from move to I you know, change the end of it to move the whole thing. Now I can remove that a lot easier. But that's what that delete key is for, is to delete that shape or something that you drew on the board. The other item we're looking at now is smileys. And you're going to find that every student's going to love to use this in your class. And it's a form of, of um, expression, emotional expression. These are actually good. They get out of hand sometimes. And, um, but it's a fun thing. <laughs> and fun should be okay, <laughs> you know? But anyway, that's it for this one. This one is, I think, our shortest one. We just had to clean up those couple of buttons. Uh, remember, we also have the ability to change these uh, with our other keys. Let's right click it. Oh, we can move shapes backwards and forwards. Uh, this is kind of similar to what I was talking about with bringing in photographs. Click on that, send shape backwards, and look, this other item came to the forefront. So you can do collages and make things interesting. If we took this shape and we wanted to bring it forward, bring it forward, oh, hmm, I wonder why that doesn't happen the same way. I forget. Maybe we've been in and out too much. But anyway. <clears throat> play with more things and oh look we've got some colors let's see what happens I always have to check what colors we have all right it's just one part of it that allows to change colors all right so that was those two uh, the last three buttons are the um, attributes of the different things that we had access to they do not operate independently on their own so that's it we've just got one more class I think to give you information about the bottom edge of the screen, what's going on on the bottom edge of your screen. All right, so see you next and final class.